Hey everybody out there, you artists, musicians, gamers, addicts, recovering addicts, and so on. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm I'm feeling pretty anxious, if if not excited, um, and you know, generally generally in good spirits uh, because. I get to share with you a little bit of the drawing process here um, in this video where you'll be um, listening to me you know talk about a game called Final Fantasy 14 I draw some of its characters but also you know hopefully you'll learn something from the drawing process and you know a lot of some of the comments that I make about that um, so hopefully you'll be able to take some away something useful and then at the end um, <laughs> uh, there is something interesting something that i've never done before so you know on the spur a little bit of the anxiety is and also just trying to figure out how to actually make it all work on youtube um but yeah you know enjoy so you know final fantasy 11 was actually my first mmo that i ever played um it was very old school and it was really difficult for me because i had a hard time forming parties and um was just really confused by it <laughs> um you know, I was confused about the way the party system worked and just frustrated by the fact that I always had to be in a party or I would die wherever I would go. And um, it was kind of it was kind of difficult for me. Um, then I got into WoW and that was way more accessible. The thing about WoW is that um, I really didn't care about the story that much. WoW was just pure gameplay for me, pure you know, searching for loot, getting the next cool piece of loot, getting to the next level so I can get the next cool ability, that sort of thing, and um, and then raining. And that was really awesome. I really did enjoy WoW quite a bit. Um, and then, you know, Final Fantasy came along, Final Fantasy XIV, um, and I didn't get into it until it came out for free as a, a beta when they were, um, re-releasing A Realm Reborn and uh, really, really got into that. Uh, what, what I liked about Final Fantasy XIV was just like the friends that I made in there. I actually made a lot of great friends in, in WoW uh, and Final Fantasy XIV just made another good set of friends and just being in a game where you could, um, I don't know, it's just like the whole community was really friendly and yeah, I, I loved it. You know, I played that um, quite a bit. Um, Recently, I had got, come back to Final Fantasy within the last year. Um, when we played back in like, I don't know, it was like 2014 or something like that, or maybe even earlier, we never even played, we never even got to Heaven's Word. So it was really awesome to come back and play through all the content that was available. The <laughs> What's funny is that I, I, had, I had learned to play Final Fantasy like how I learned to play World of Warcraft, meaning... I would skip the story. You know, a lot of World, in World of Warcraft, a lot of the story was, um, you know, through reading quest text um, from like the quest accept screen, and you know, some occasional like uh, I would um, go into a dungeon, and the dungeon story would play out in front of you, and then I'd be like, oh, what's this about? Maybe I should pay attention. But Final Fantasy XIV. Um, really did just focus on story and that's made all the difference because so much about Final Fantasy 14 is how how wonderful the characters are how they make you uh, a key player in the world or in World of Warcraft you're kind of just like another soldier and then you get to watch all the big players do stuff you're the main player in this uh in this game and i don't know i just think that's uh really cool so so yeah um getting back into final fantasy 14 was really great because uh we got to get back into it with um my kids um my two older kids and they really got into the story and they really helped me get way more into the story you know especially had you know the, the kids who are you know they really knocked me knocked me out of that whole thing you know I, I made it a point that I was going to focus on the storyline and make sure that I paid attention to that and because I know that it was great and they made it even they made it really awesome um, just to, to talk about the story with them and especially the the final expansion and Walker has just some really great 
lessons and um, that they actually took to heart and um, helped bring to me just about, um, you know, what, what it's like to fall into a cycle of despair and how it's always possible to get back out of that no matter what. And also just the value of, um, of friendship and um, how, you know, being a good friend will you know, surprise you with how, what the results of that can be. And that's what I really love about, um, the story of Final Fantasy XIV, the, the final expansion of Endwalker, not to mention just the amazing, amazing music involved in, in that. I mean, Final Fantasy has always had amazing music. It's just, there's just something about Endwalker that hit different and man, I loved it. Um, so yeah, here I, I took a little bit of time. First off, I just, you know, one, one night I just did all those rough sketches and then I put it away. And then uh, here I'm just starting to flesh out the characters. Here with Alphino and Alize, um, which are kind of like your your best friends in in Final Fantasy XIV. The main the character that you played, like they're just really best friends through thick and thin. I just love all the fun little moments that you get to have with them that aren't serious, but just like times where you can just chill and, and just be yourselves with all the characters. And uh, with Alphino and, Ali and Alize, they're twins. And, you know, here I just wanted to focus on, you know, the, like their youth and their ponytail <laughs> as like kind of like main motifs to kind of like draw the m movement to capture the movement of this if you remember kind of at the very beginning of the sketch I drew just like one swoop like kind of their their heads followed that line so I try to you know just make this quick little sketch little composition of that but yeah you know that that's the great part about Alphino and Alize is that they're just true friends and they believe in just persevering in their own way. Um, Alphino is more of a diplomat and Alice is really hot headed, but they both just, um, you know, they, they just follow their heart. So yeah, you know, here I'm just trying to figure out, um, you know, looking at reference at their designs for the Endwalker expansion since they all change clothes every, every time. Just coming in close here, trying to put in more details. Um, I like the expression I capture on Alice A's face here. Struggled a little more with Alphino, but I think I was happy with uh, what I had there. And then it's really just trying to uh, stick with just some, some slightly interesting poses here. I really do quite the construction of that hand there. Um, so I felt I was pretty happy with that at that point. Oh, uh, uh, Emmett Selk, I've always wanted to do him justice. I this is the first time where I actually like took the time to really try to draw Emmett Selk. Uh, he is an awesome character who, you know, comes from a world that has been destroyed, and he's just doing his best to um, try to make you understand um, his his kind of twisted belief of, you know. Like you, you guys and your world, you guys are nothing compared to us. But, um, but because we're able to just never give up, he kind of, uh, you know, we, you know, spoilers. But we love Emmett Selk, <laughs> and he has such an awesome, just uh, look to him. I wanted to really focus on his sunken eyes, and um, you know, his hair. Um, and just like the, the regalness and the smirk and the smarminess of his look. Ishtola, is she, is she a fan favorite? I think I think she, like people really like her. She was definitely my favorite when I first started and she had gone through a lot of changes uh, through the story of Final Fantasy. And you know, here I just kind of wanted to, you know, I don't know, I think I was just focusing on bangs and uh, more like sharp features. She's a cat person. Um, a Mikote, and yeah, she's a pretty cool character. She's gotten a lot of, uh, like, I guess, upgrades to her, to her design. She's gone from 
a white mage to a black mage throughout the story and that's really cool but yeah you know here just kind of trying to focus on the little details um coming up with like the the shoulder covers on her dress and then the sh uh, the feathers that come out of um, her hair as earrings i assume her her her, her oh ah. Where do, where do those go? Because her ears are up here. <laughs> so just kind of, uh, I guess I need to do a little bit more more research on how she actually, you know, what, what where, where she hangs those feathers from. But yeah, you know, just kind of doing light line and then I come back over and, you know, press a little harder and, and do a little darker line. There I wanted to make her lips a bit thinner because she, you know, this is kind of more her look. Make sure that she has like eyes that aren't very clear. She, um, throughout the story, she ends up being like, I don't know, like she, she can't see normally. She sees people's uh, aether, they call it, or spirit or whatever you want to equate it to. Yeah, you know, typical strategy that I go with is I almost draw like a curved plate, like a curved rectangle plate, and that's um, that really helps me get the perspective of the head right. And then, of course, you know, I put my, my midline and then my eye line on that, um, you know, with all these characters, uh, just, you know, focusing on that little plate and then, you know, filling out the head and then, you know, drawing a line where, you know, I think like the front of the plane is and then like like the corner of where the corner of the head is that it starts receding backwards. Um, you know, and along with that, other typical techniques I do is I just have to use two, you know, big circles to identify where the shoulders are and I kind of place those in different areas. To, you know just trying to get some interesting shoulder body twists going on here with graha uh he's just a really cool character because he he is a huge part of endwalker and by the end of endwalker i just want to do everything that he wants uh to do because he you know, I just want to be a good friend to him, and he's he has this unbridled optimism. Uh, you know, I think like one of the key things in in Final Fantasy XIV is that everyone believes in you, and um, it's really cool when you you kind of feel that uh, that support with your friends in the in the game. Um, but yeah, Graha is just a really awesome character with really cool design and awesome scarf type uh, design. And I like how his design remains the same. Um, or not remains the same, but um, you can see like the the parts of his design that, that move on over to the next look. Here, you know, just kind of working on my line weight so that I can have these characters pop and just have a more graphic feel to them. And then I actually... <laughs> I, I did not record a lot of my kind of inking or, you know, just cleaner line part of this. So that's that. But yeah, you know, Astinian, this character here, he is, um, yeah, you know, he's kind of one of those gruff, tough guys who kind of rubbed me the wrong way when he first appeared. But then, you know, it's always like the the most hardened characters that you really appreciate when they um soften up or just um you know do something that's out of the ordinary for them and support for other people and uh he really shines when he does that but yeah we really love estinian um just really trying to capture his his flowing hair and he he gets a he, he puts his hair up in the expansion the endwalker expansion so um, usually he's just in a in a helmet um, and then later on he just has his long hair flowing everywhere and then he gets the little uh, updo <laughs> uh, for N Walker so just really uh, I think it's a really uh, improvement on his design I think um, 
you know, one of the things I really re remembered and noticed from him was that he had a really small nose when we first saw his face, and um, I remember that. And then, yeah, some more more Graha here, just kind of, you know, took me a while to, to, to come up with a brush that I'm comfortable with here to, to get these um, more black lines, but there to also have it so that there is some uh, texture in the lines. Um, but here I'm just focusing on um, more line weight and just getting more definition into different parts of um, you know each character, but also just kind of keeping it loose. Um, you know, I know I've heard that um, the you know something I want to keep testing is. To draw your your fine line, your inking, uh, with the same speed and energy that uh, you did your original drawing, and I think that might be a really good tip because I, I do find myself when I um, kind of keep going more towards a completed look, the the energy kind of goes away, and I'm I'm gonna see how it is if I um, I just uh, draw with the same speed and energy even when I'm doing the the fine line work. Um, and see how that how that looks when I'm um, doing inking and uh, more kind of final pencil sketch stuff here. But yeah, you know, I also you know wanted to you know throw in some value here, so um, did a couple of things where um, just selected all the characters and then uh, with the lasso tool and then put in a, like a mid gray, a mid tone gray, and then started using more selections to just erase some of that gray for highlights and just make it two-tone white and a gray and then um yeah i think it had a pretty cool effect and then i come in here at the end with um just a soft airbrush so i can get some more just you know um roundness with with the shadows and whatnot so um yeah that's kind of my little process in this uh quick little sketch here not not that quick but you know it definitely um is a different style that i've that i'm from what i've done before with making these selections and just going from there so yeah thanks for taking the time to draw with me and um you know let me know what you think about uh, Final Fantasy characters, any of the opinions that I had, and then also, you know, if you have any questions about, you know, my, my drawing or the process or anything about that, let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have about that. In the meantime, uh, keep drawing, and we'll see you again later. Peace! Blood red skies drink 
well after the storm. Blessed shadow.